Hi, welcome to the course. My name is Mitch Campbell. I am a Canadian teacher and I've been teaching IB Physics and Math since 2001. Now, my many, many years of teaching, I noticed that a lot of students, right before they come into their exams, they don't even know exactly about the course. So I want to start off by, first of all, explaining a little bit about the course to you. And what I mean by the course, the actual Math SL course, the one that you are doing. So I hope you know that there are six different topics you're supposed to learn about. Okay, so there's algebra, functions and equations, circular functions, although it's mostly called trigonometry. We've got vectors, statistics and probability, and finally, calculus. And of all those things, these are called the core topics. And you're probably thinking, who cares about that? I care about my exam, right? You're probably a little bit worried about that or maybe concerned about that. So let's talk about that exam. Um, you need to do a paper one and a paper two. Usually paper one is done on one day and usually the paper two is on the next day. So usually like uh, paper one is on one day in the afternoon and then paper two is on the next day in the morning. And when you sit down and do those papers, what does that entail? Well, first of all, what do they cover? Each of them covers the core topics, okay? So both of them, I'm gonna write that down here. So both of them cover the core. My R almost looked like a V, so there we go. They both cover the core topics, so these ones. So both of the papers cover the same thing. You might wonder, what's the difference between the two papers? Here it is, are you allowed a graphing calculator? Uh, there's a number of calculators allowed. There's like a Casio one. The main one that people use is the TI-84 or the TI-Inspire. Um, so either of those, those are allowed here or not allowed. So let's see. Paper one, do you know how it works? Do you remember? Paper one, you are not allowed a calculator. And paper two, you are. That's the difference. Because when you're training to do this stuff, you've got to be able to do each of these topics without a calculator. So that's for paper one. And then with a calculator for paper two. Are you allowed a formula booklet? In other words, all the equations? Good news for you, you're allowed it for both exams. That's perfect. So we've talked about what the exam actually covers. Do you know how much the exam is worth? Out of the entire two-year course that this is, the exam is actually worth 80% of your final grade. This is huge. The other 20% is made up of uh, something called your internal assessment. That's something that your teacher does with you that gets sent up and moderated and all this. This right here, this is your exam. It's 80% of your entire grade from the last two years. And it's actually 40% is paper one, 40% is paper two. So it's actually pretty straightforward, but I understand why a lot of people are freaked out about this and that's my job. That's why I'm here to help you to get ready. All right, we've just talked about what is involved in the actual Math SL course. How do you actually get ready for your exams? That's where I come in to help you out. Because you might be a little bit overwhelmed with, you know, where do you actually, you know, you've done this for two years, how do you actually put it all together? Well, I've gone through every single past exam there is. I've done them all. And I've done a huge, crazy amount of work on looking at an analysis, every question, what's involved, what comes up most often. And with that in mind, then, I've narrowed everything down for you. So that way, from each of these topics, what are the most important topics you need to do? Well, I've got those for you. Those are my very important topics. That's what I've actually nicknamed them. So that way, when you're actually looking at each of them, you're going to see that within the theory here, we're going to have some videos within algebra, let's say, or within functions, all these, and they're going to include some theory for you. Because that's because you might not have learned it or maybe you need to see it again. So each of these lecture videos for theory, those are going to go over the actual stuff you need. There's going to be um, an example usually, and I recommend you actually stop the video during those examples and actually try them yourself. Each of those lecture videos are going to also be associated with um, a way to practice it, because you need to practice it yourselves. So what you do there is, with each of these questions, after the lecture video, down below there's a question you know, where you can actually try it out yourself. And this way, then you can actually try it. You can see what the answer is. And if you're not sure how to get the answer, there's a video explanation for that as well. So that's learning the theory, practicing the theory. Really important then is to sort of zoom out again. Here we've been talking about actually what, what to go over, all the details of it. But it really helps to try to zoom out a little bit and start putting it all together. What I mean by that is that there, there's a whole bunch of questions in a sort of a question bank. I've got lots of different questions from each of the topics, but you don't necessarily know which of the subtopics to use for them. So I think that's really important to try to zoom out and try to have an idea then, all right, that's why we're putting it all together here. 
Uh, finally, we have, um, well, you need to learn about your calculator here. So I've got some questions, uh, not some questions, some videos showing you how to actually use your calculator. So there I go through and help you out with those. I also have some videos showing you all the formulas from your formula booklet. And that is with the key idea here, key aim of getting you ready for that exam. So there I've also got a lot of exam questions for you to practice. Where there, you're again sort of zooming out where you don't even know what topic it is. You get a question, you have to be able to put it together. And again, every single question I have has a detailed video example. The idea here is for you to do a lot of this practice yourself. Right here, the only part where I sort of do it for you. The rest of it, you have to do the work here. But I'm there to sort of hold your hand, so to speak, through it, show you all the answers, show you how to do them, and hopefully then you're going to get ready for your exam and you're going to think, I'd be awesome.